mac and cheese mukbang let's do this wow okay so today i have got a lot a lot of macaroni and i'm talking about 400 grams maybe i mean just look at this my dad made me this i mean that looks great what do you guys think let me know in the comments but anyways i hope you guys are doing well um today yeah i'm wearing a dolce and cabana shirt polo because macaroni is italian but mac and cheese the idea i think is american because i know american people like, got, got great ideas so anyways hope you're doing well another mukbang um damn i'm excited so let's try it out it's very crunchy so what i did is i've got melted cheese like crust on the top it normally this is this looks like a lasagna but it isn't but and I got a lot of macaroni. I got the big boys. I don't, I don't, I don't got the small ones. I got biological macaroni, so I want to know what it tastes like. But let's cut through it. Oh, man, God. Oh, that smells. I haven't had mac and cheese in so long. I know my old school viewers, they will remember what I'll be talking about. I made a mac and cheese video, I think, two years ago plus already. I mean, it ain't looking too bad. Wow, that's good. It's very warm, though. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. I had to wait two hours for this. The reason is why my mom's working. So if you maybe hear her laughing or talking in the room, she's working. Yeah, I don't know why, but working involves laughing with her as well. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, I want to talk about the previous uh, video. Uh, the vlog video I've seen a lot of positive comments and you know you got negative comments as well but that's fine hmm, okay but let's talk about the negative comments I know it's a mukbang channel now but however I had a lot of people asking me if I could possibly do a, a vlog so I want to know should I start vlogs on a weekly basis so let's say Monday I posted a vlog which was this week <laughs> and um, that basically mean that next Monday, which is the upcoming Monday, I will also vlog. So that means that I'll start vlogging Saturday. So as a, if, if I'm correct, we're going to go to the forest, me and my dad and the dogs. If I'm correct. If so, I'm a vlogger. <laughs> wow, this is unbelievable. I wanted to try and get some vegetarian ham, but they, they didn't they didn't have it in in the in at at stock or in stock at the jumbo. So that's kind of a shame. Mm. If this is what makes you hungry, I don't know what is. No, but this is really good. The big the big one. I've never had the big uh, macaroni. Mm. And the cheese on the bottom. Kept, keeps the warm. Mm. Yeah, this is really nice. My dad made this really well, so good. So let's go all give some love to my dad, man. Honestly, he's the guy that makes, he's a genius behind these videos, making them. I'm the one that brings, that, you know, makes up the ideas, but he's the one that actually makes it. It's been so long since I've had macaroni. You don't even know. I don't think I've had macaroni off camera. Because I know the last mac and cheese video I made was, um, I think in the summer 2017. I believe with a small little microphone. And um, after that, I never really ate macaroni. I don't know why. But try, trust me. If you don't like macaroni, then, then, dude, I'm just saying there's something wrong with you. Like, you've had no childhood if you don't like it, you know. Same with same same not watching SpongeBob. How can you never have how how, how could you never see? How can, damn, my English is broken nowadays. What's wrong with it? Um, I'm stuttering. I don't know if you guys realize it, but in my in my vlog, I was stuttering a lot. I normally don't do that. I don't know why. I, maybe I was just nervous because I was in public. I don't know. Nah, I think I just talk too much. I do.
Well, if you've never seen SpongeBob SquarePants, or never even heard of it, or The Simpsons, dude. No, that's definitely the all classic ones. But um, yeah, like, like I said in my vlog, I know I mentioned it as a school vlog. I didn't vlog a lot in school, but like I said in the video. Oh, actually, talking about that, let me let let let's skip forward. So today I had a discussion with a very good person that I know on school, confidential. But um, it's a she. So anyway, we were talking. I said, she, she said, hey, I watched the vlog of yours. I said, oh, you did? Yeah. Because uh, everybody knows I have a channel. I think 95% at least that I know of knows that I have a YouTube channel on my school. She's one of them. Teachers. Every teacher knows it. And they're cool with it. And, um, <laughs> she said, if you want to, you can vlog the school. I'm like, nah, for real? Yeah, you just need to have permission from, from everyone. I'm like, hmm. I'll think about it because you know what it is on camera. People act so fucking stupid. And that's what everyone it doesn't have to be. It doesn't matter if it's a special school. Or wait, normal school. People are gonna act dumb and they're gonna act tough and they're gonna say dumb stuff. Cause I'm scared mainly because they people on my school. Mm, I don't make. I don't want to make them look bad, but they. Let's just keep it like this. They're not the brightest when it comes to saying stuff on camera. No, they'll, they'll, they'll definitely say dumb stuff, which I know they will. Mm. So I'll think about it, I don't know. I really don't know if I will. But yeah, like I said, I know I haven't vlogged in a while, and that's why I didn't show a lot, didn't vlog a lot in public, because I don't feel safe walking around flashing with a phone in the air. I don't feel comfortable, I, I don't feel safe. Because anyone can snatch my phone out of the, out of the sky when I'm filming, you know? Yeah, I'm kind of weird when it comes to that, but trust me, if it happens to you at one day, you're like, fuck. I don't want to get robbed now, nah, man. Mm. Yeah, like I said, let me know uh, if I should do weekly vlogs. Because I've been thinking of um, making one vlog a week and two mug banks a week. And I think it's going pretty good. Oh no. So I woke up this morning, I, right? Because Thursday we've always got gym at 8.30 in the morning with the whole class. We've got like 8.30 to 10 o'clock. It's pretty long, I know. So I thought, screw it. I'm going to take my football with. Mm. And um, this new guy walks in, like, who the, who the, who's this? Look like a hippie. I know I'm judgmental when it comes to that, but I, I say this. And blah, 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 blah. And then he says, We're gonna do boot camp. I'm like, Oh, for fuck's sake, really, man? A boot camp? Like, I hate boot camps. The reason why? Because it's boring. When I wanna go do something active, I'll go watch porn up. I could have watched porn in that hour, but nah, man. Uh, I, no, I didn't say that, obviously, but I, I, I left it like nasty. I was like, mm, you know what? Nah, I'm done with this. Nah. I know he means good. I know it's his job or voluntarily, but my dude, I come specifically to gym to do active exercise, not to stand as a dickhead at one spot for for the whole, for a whole hour. And then in the class, it said, somebody said, hey, but we do yeah, but Keegan, not everybody wants, no, 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 somebody's, I think it was, it's every week football, and you, and, no, 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 it wasn't like, no, nah, it was something with, I always want to play football, I didn't even mention, or brought, I didn't even, I didn't even mention football in the, in the conversation, look, when I come to gym, I don't want to football, I don't need to football, I don't have to football every time, but I expect something more active, you know, I don't know, it's just irritating, man, look, I'm not saying the changes aren't bad, changes are nice to have, but a change like that, I don't enjoy it. Yeah, the the rest may enjoy it, but I'm not them. I'm myself. I know what I enjoy and what I don't enjoy. Because it'd also be pretty fucked up if I act like I like when I don't like it. And yeah, that's not really nice as well. It's both not nice, obviously, but it's better than just telling the truth than lying and pretending and doing it with them. And then actually thinking he's doing it good, you know? It's, I don't know. But yeah, I was kind of edged. And I was pretty annoyed this morning. Mm. 
I mean, look how much I have. This is crazy. Look how much I've left. Look, I mean, come on, look at this. Crazy. I'm not going to be able to eat this, obviously, in one video, because this is almost a... No, this is 500 gram. No, nah, this is actually 350, maybe. I mean, the thing is, the macaronis are big. Yeah, I know some people are used to the smaller ones. The smaller ones are good, but I just feel like they get tangled up too much with the cheese, you know? Like, you got, you've got too much... You've got, like, a whole blob of cheese on one little macaroni. I don't like that. These ones are actually really nice. I'm buying these. And they're also biological. Okay. My dad is a good cook. Yeah. Sounds really strange. Mm. Mm. Number three is really good. Because a lot of times the food that he makes, people are always saying, is that really homemade? Because it's so accurate. Same with the five guys. Yeah, it's it's real. It's not fake. It's homemade. Nothing obviously bought from the store. That makes sense. You've got to buy a product. But all... Made from scratch, beginning to end product, by my dad and me, my, ma mainly my dad obviously, but I do sometimes help, yeah. Met the R-Bike, hey. Yeah, this is really good, I know I keep saying, but trust me, get for change if you're used to the cheaper macaronis, screw it man, go for change and maybe get biological one. Because I think there's definitely a taste difference. Definitely. Much nicer. It's better for, you know, if I make this. Um, and get... I'm not sure if you guys have it in America. Not, not not fondue cheese. No, not that artificial crap. But get pasta cheese. It's it's special cheese. It's not like normal uh, pluckish of cheese. But it's, it's rasp cheese. I don't, I don't know what you call it. Rasp cheese? Something like that? I don't know. But get the thin cheese. And then... Add flour. It sounds really stupid, but add flour. Put put it in a pan. Warm it up for two three minutes. Mix it up. Put some cheese to it, a little bit, piece by piece. And then it gets like this cheesy, like more cheesy. And actually, is re it's a really nice combination of flour. Add your macaroni. Layer of cheese. Another layer of macaroni, and then a mesh of crust on the top, which just makes it delicious. And it's also vegetarian. There is a potential that you can actually make a vegan macaroni because you have cheese. I think you've got vegan cheese. I don't think we said anything in the Netherlands though, that I know of, but I do think you've got vegan cheese. Definitely. Oh, and the reason is a lot of people also confuse and saying, are you vegetarian or vegan? Let me explain how it works. So vegetarian food, 9 out of 10 times that got sold is vegan as well so that include that's that also includes no animal products so cheese milk eggs anything that comes from an animal doesn't get used in there so so like a vegetarian uh cheese steak yeah okay that's i think real cheese but you've also got a vegan version with it's really strange i don't get how you make vegan cheese i, I don't really know how you can make it it tastes like normal cheese that, that's a crazy thing it's scary Mm. Oh, this fucking lack I mean, I'll show you. This is the layer. This is just, look, this. Oh, wait, oh, here. This is the beginning. And you just add layer for layer. And it's really thick. Not as thick as me, because I'm, I'm saying. I got a really thick ass. I know it's saying, it, it just, it's coming out of nowhere, but. My ass is thick. I got a good ass. I'm I'm comparing my my ass to other females in there. I'm like, man, I am really blessed with a nice butt like this. Like, dude, I'm I'm just saying my ass is jiggly, like not fat, but like thick. So yeah, just like a stripper, like a stripper, like an ass for stripper. Really, it's really nice. Yeah, and I have some people on my Snapchat. You know, that ask me if I'm gay or straight. Look, I don't mind questions like that. Honestly, I have nothing against it. I have to say, no, nah, I'm straight, man. And then they say, oh, I wish you were gay. Because, you know, I mean, that's, that's, I don't think it's weird. I mean, it's humor. It's funny, you know, at the same time. Some people will say, that's kind of creepy. Nah, in the beginning, it was kind of creepy. Like, fuck. 
not because they're gay, nothing with that, but just the fact that a guy says it, you know, it's different if you're, if you're straight and you, uh, you like women and, you know, when a woman compliments and says, damn, you're hot and then a guy says it, it's not bad, don't get it wrong for me personally, personal thing, it's personal preference as well, how you think of it. In the beginning, I thought, the fuck? Bit weird, but okay, thank you, I suppose. But now I'm like, thanks, I guess. No, I like, appreciate it, you know. I, it, look, it, there's nothing wrong with saying to another guy, you got a good ass. I mean, you know, some people might think it's weird. I mean, I don't know. Everybody has their own thing, but nah, I'm, I'm used to it. It's kind of strange. It sounds kind of strange saying used to it. But it's not their fault that they're gay or bisexual. It's just what they prefer. Prefer preference. Nothing they can do about it. Mm. I've eaten quite a lot, so don't you dare moan at me saying I eat a lot. You gotta realize this looks bigger than off camera. This is really big compared to on camera. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end this. Actually, really nice piece. I might have. To, I might just leave some for breakfast. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the mukbang. I think I've spoken enough. Um. Yesterday, I posted an ASMR tasting Red Bull video. Unlovely ASMRs. A lot, a lot of people have been requesting me if, to re upload the video. And I did. So go check it out. And because Saturday, Unlovely ASMR S, I have an ASMR with my dad video coming out. And then Monday, I got a vlog coming out. Um, I got a test week next week. I've, I don't have a lot of stuff actually next week, which is really nice. So it's a pretty chill week. I got exams in like less than two months. Nah. Yeah, yeah, around two months. So, yeah, wish me luck. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, it felt nice eating mac and cheese for a long time. Um, it, it really felt nice. It's really special eating mac and cheese once in a while. Um, if you're wondering why I got the shoes, I know you're peeping at the shoes. I know. I know you're jelly. Let me show you. These are custom made. A lot of people are still asking me, you know, why I got these shoes. These aren't your regular Air Force Ones, obviously. These are custom made with a fen Fendi paint. Hand painted, by the way. Yeah. So these cost me around 165 euro, I think. Which is, I mean, what, $200? You're probably wondering why it's so expensive because you buy us the shoes at regular price, so it's 50, 60 bucks. And then you have to paint them, which you, you charge you, well, you basically get charged for hours, which makes kind of sense. And then you got the Fendi uh, Monster Eye. Really cool, man. Uh, this is really sweet. So this, the guy that made it is customizato, and a uh, huge shout out to him because he makes fucking awesome shoes. I know you can also link other people, but I'm a customer of him. I might just buy a new some another pair of shoes of his because it's really dope, man. This, the 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 art that he has is really nice. And um, I know that Supreme is collab. Dropping a collaboration with Nike again, and it's fucking terrible. I'm gonna be very honest. Uh, a terrible collab. It's it's literally a plain Nike Air Force One, or as people like to call it, a pair of cocaines. I don't know why. And it's seriously got. I think it's yeah, it's here. It's only got Supreme stitched on here, and that's that's it. And it's got Supreme stitched in the inside, so here on the sole, and it's got. And it's got just supreme laces. And people are saying that it's going to be speculated and rumored about between $95. I've seen a lot of posts on Instagram saying it's going to be like 100 bucks because it's a very easy one to replicate. To make, because it's just a supreme thing. Some people are speculating it's going to go for $250. My man, if you pay double the price for just some normal Nikes. Just because it says super small, it's not even big. It's such a small stitch. A supreme and you pay 100 bucks plus probably I, I don't like supreme anymore man yeah I, I, I have two three t-shirts of them look the t-shirts I think are pretty cool like the the basic ones not the overhyped overrated uh, overpriced shit as well that's I don't like that I'm, I'm talking about the skate skate skating vintage like old school type of stuff you know so, so 30 40 bucks for sure uh, like, yeah you know uh, but resell I think retail resell what yeah resell that's that's what screws everyone's pocket over, man. Because you're paying f sometimes f ninety dollars for a pair a sh for a shirt that's like twenty five in the store. 
Uh, but yeah, Supreme is a very overrated uh, brand. And in my opinion, I am not getting a Supreme Nike Air Force One. Fuck that. I ain't paying maybe a hundred bucks for just because it has Supreme on it. If you buy that, you're a clown. I'm just saying, man. That's just pure clowniness. But no, I don't think it's a dope collab whatsoever. I don't think. It's a really basic, boring, no effort put in collab. It's just got a Supreme stitch on the side. Supreme shoelaces and Supreme print in the inside of the sole. That's fucking it. Nothing else. It's just a pure white shoe. You've also got the black Air Force one. But if you wear that, you're a criminal. Nobody wears black Air Force I've seen. I've never seen anyone. No, okay, the Corsairs at my school, the janitor. But for the rest, no. I've never seen somebody wear black Air Force because that's a crime. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. Um, 21 minutes long. I really hope you enjoyed the mukbang nonetheless. Sorry if you heard some potential background noise. So that is my little sister. She's getting more handy and more flexible and talkable. Huh, is that even a word? Doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping you guys are enjoying the content. Uh, definitely let me know down in the comments. And um, I'll check you out with a new ASMR video, which will be um, Saturday. And then a brand new mukbang video, Sunday. And then a vlog Monday. Damn, you're lucky. I'll peep you in the next mukbang, man. Peace.